So I've been writing, a lot of the stuff that I've been writing recently has to do with place, I guess. And so um, a few of the poems that I'm reading tonight are, are kind of uh, uh, symbolic of that. Um, in the next, actually, three, four poems. And then I'm going to read one where I say a lot of curse words. So sorry for the children <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> but the here. adults that have been drinking really may enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to set this here and see what happens. Okay. I'm not going to like dance around or that's, anything. That's not our equipment, so you lie before. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is a carpenter, sort of like Jesus, but he doesn't believe in God. His holy space is drills and grinders, roaring teeth spitting chips and dust. When I was 12, we built a canoe from strips of cedar, ripped boards for weeks. The frame in the garage was scaled like an empty whale. We, the bones lurching from the shop floor. We arced on its new skin with glue and heavy staples. Dad wore a green down vest like a tortoise shell. He said it would comfort our shop mammal to be built by something familiar. When the frame was full with hull and keel, we plied out the staples like final stitches removed from a recovered experiment, ran our hands down its sanded spine, the work painting into our palms, our pores absorbing the bonding. When we rode the whale, we launched it from the shore like pushing a dead cow back into the sea, boots in the shallows filled with lake water. It would take us to the middle, where the big fish are, where the casting rods bend like cottonwood over glass, dance jigs whipping back and forth dragon tongues. This is how we sit, me, navigator bow boy, front paddle like the steam engine's big boat, but little boat. Dad is stern, rudder man, power in the deep dig. He spanked the water good, like I forgot to take the garbage out. <laughs> we pull the trash from the beaver dens and replace them with good sticks. He says they don't know any better. The babies will get the soda rings around their heads like the Spanish Inquisition and die slow. We don't want them to die slow. Keep rowing, hard on the left. Watch out for the log. I see the log. The log looks like a floating dog. I put my paddle in it. It sank through like a fork in cat food. It is was a dog, belly sticking out like helium and rot. See how the canines are chipped and peeled back? Must have been eaten marmots. Sometimes a stray dog will eat rocks if it's hungry enough. My dad is a scientist. He doesn't believe in God. His holy space is lakes and bug guts. It sells through him when we walk on the roots and slipping path of the Yakima Valley. We Swiss blade open on the pond, make ripples like loons, hoot, hoot against the quarry for the echo, make campfire dance with pucker mouth, lip wind, and sizzle up the iron pan, washing in mountain water. When the tent gots the squirts with dew, and the embers burn down, cracking like mosquitoes on dad's neck with his slapping, and it's dark as bears. When morning peeps over the ridge, we are simple heirloom pocket knives, carving memory into the tree. Thank you. My experience in Kennewick and Tri-Cities. And uh, so the next, this poem, that poem and this poem are kind of uh, speaking to my experience growing up in Eastern Washington. This is in a completely different way than the last poem. Uh, this is called Trespass. This was published in um, this issue two of Bestiary Magazine or Bestiary Magazine. Um, and it's about writing graffiti with my friend in the desert when we were kids. And there's some irony to that, if you think about it. Trespass. We cloaked in dark navy, our bags obese with rustos, fat caps, and fins. We were as big as we could be. The faint clacking of cans called to rattlesnakes coiled in the rockery like landmines. In the desert night, the sagebrush rose from its haunches to follow our trail, sweep out our footprints, take our names, hold them under its tongue, between its teeth, like a darkling beetle in its jaw. We hung to the dirt and gravel path, down iron tracks into the train tunnel, to throw our mistakes and masterpieces up on cooling concrete walls on tiptoe to extend our radius. The hissing aerosol mock reptile. We painted with trespass, impermanence, knowing with countless coats of cover-up, our names will be buffed deep 